Great Smoky Mountains National Park is home to a large number of rare bird species, but finding where they live and how many there are can be difficult. That's true. 10 News reporter Katie Roach is with researchers at Seven Islands Wildlife Refuge, and she has more on an interesting thing they're trying to do. Good morning. Good morning. That's right. We are out here at Seven Islands Wildlife Refuge in Knox County. It is absolutely beautiful out here, and I'm not sure if you can hear it, but right now I am listening to several different bird calls. Now, over here you can see some of the grad students are actually researching right now, trying to pick up these sounds and figure out exactly what the calls are and actually they're trying to make a mathematic algorithm so you might think that these students would be biology students but they are actually math students from all across the country now here to tell us a little more about the research is dr kirschenbaum tell us about what the students are doing right now well uh, i'm from uh, an institute which is our aim is to bring together math and biology to use math to solve biological problems and we have these students which are outstanding math students that we've brought in from across the country and their job is to try and develop some artificial intelligence algorithm that will allow them to detect these uh, calls and the songs of rare bird species so that we can assess the populations to see whether the populations are in decline whether the populations are stable and as you can hear, the, the, from the, the large number of different species that are si all singing at the same time, that's not an easy task. They have to pick out the specific species that we're, that we're interested in. And maybe um, also here is Dr. Bueller. He's a wildlife professor at UT. He's going to tell us about what is the actual goal of all this, the ultimate goal. So this project is really aimed at helping wildlife conservation and specifically bird conservation. There's a lot of declining bird species in Tennessee, across the country, and in the world. And even finding them in the first place is a real daunting task. The value of this approach is that we can put these automated acoustic monitors out and we can listen 24 7 for these birds and then our great math students can come back and they can run the algorithms and see if we've gotten any so this is this is a, a great combination between the math students abilities and our abilities in wildlife all right well, we'll be back out here a little bit later to talk to some of these grad students about exactly what they are doing so for now we'll send it back to you all right, Katie, thank you so much. We appreciate it. We got to interview her this week about her life. She's from East Tennessee. She's our new morning reporter. We welcome her to the show. Yeah. So hopefully we'll be finding out a little more about her later in the week. Researchers are in Kodak today studying the large number of rare bird species in the Smoky Mountains. Denny's reporter Katie Roach is with researchers at Seven Islands Wildlife Refuge to show us what they're doing up there. Good morning. Well, we are out here at Seven Islands Wildlife Refuge in Knox County, and what we are out here doing, we are here with three students from across the U.S. who are here trying to research different types of bird calls. Now, these are actually math students. I'm here with one. Her name is Nicole Bender, and she is from Marist College. She's going to tell us a little bit about what they're doing and the type of equipment that they're using. Okay, so this is um, our recording device that we've been using, and the sound comes in through this microphone and it has the shape so it can accurately or more, more efficiently uh, detect the sounds that we're aiming for. So you kind of point and aim at the bird that we're looking for and it gives us a better signal. Um, and then our goal is to get these sound files onto our computer and then run these files through our algorithm in order to detect the specific bird call. And I was talking with Nicole earlier. One thing she told me was that she was really interested